Niger. A French colony has ousted their democratically elected president, Mohamed Bazoum, through a swift coup d'etat. He was literally swept off his seat. The coup d'etat, led by ex-UN peacekeeper Abdurrahman Chiani, was targeted at restoring constitutional order in Niger. Niger, though an African uh, country, is a base for many Western and European countries. Most coups are met with disdain. But in this instance, Chiani is a hero. Oh, he seems to be a hero. He was welcomed by, uh, welcomed by a large entourage of locals and citizens from his trip from Russia to meet uh, Putin. And it is very clear that this is still a fight for white power. In the midst of this chaos, ECOWAS issued an ultimatum a week ago demanding that power be handed back to the democratically elected president by Sunday night at midnight or face military intervention. Well, your guess is as good as mine. Shit did it happen? <laughs> the cool leaders have since blocked their airspace and borders and ECOWAS is watching over the fence, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, some people have rules that they follow. And so, uh, now do we have anything to show for this? Uh, you don't have. You don't have. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. A coup is something I, do, I never pray for to happen because uh, history and some stuff that we have read shows that when there's unrest, yo, you, you cannot trust that. It's good to have a democracy, like, well, as far as we are, we are taught. But who knows about democracy or who knows much about Ghana defense more than the, the Minister for Defense? Uh, we have the Minister for Defense for Ghana here. Uh, he is going to help us know how secure we are. Are you going to suffer some of these or, like, the, the, the situation is under control? You are, you are welcome, uh, Honorable Nitiu. Over. 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 Roger, Alpha, copy, Niger. All right, All right. copy, yeah, copy, okay. copy. What's happening? Copy. Can I talk? To you? Over. Okay. Today we are not going to do that. Today you have to talk. What, what? All right. All right. All right. All right, General, General, I see you. Over, over. Okay, okay. all right, you're welcome. Okay, Charlie, <laughs> put your phone down, make I talk to you, Honorable. Ah, uh, you're welcome. Did you just talk to the Honorable Minister for Defense? No, that was Lexi. It was Lexi I was talking to, but now I'm talking to the Honorable Minister. Uh, how secured are we in Ghana? Um, Obi, first of all, I will say a very big thank you to Looking you. Looking at our history of, you know, Coup d'etat. Do you think we, we may suffer the, the uh, what Niger is going through? First of through all, there, would no be, there wouldn't be any coup. There wouldn't be. Because every soldier we have currently in yeah. this country mm -hmm. was through the, our political influence. You know, you can't enter the soldier without somebody yeah, actually yeah, taking yeah, you there. Yeah, so okay. you, so can you, fight, yeah. you have a lot of your people, people in, in there. Yeah, so oh, okay. we, you think it is right to do that? As to whether it is right or not, they are Ghanaians. We okay. need to employ them. As okay. a country, what we realize is um, coup can happen at any time. Yeah, because cool. Nkrumah actually traveled, came back, and there was coup. Yeah. A champion was actually talking to one lady, and there was coup. Really? And uh, a free fire he went to free something and there was a coup yeah and these are measures that we've put in place to see to way that yeah, Ghana kutu, kutu, a champ. kutu a champ is the one kutu kutu mami kutu yeah. so he did a lot of things which i i think went wrong that made the coup actually come into the yeah. with the niger referring to the niger situation obi as a country we need to revise certain things that we do because i as a minister of defense i don't know why people actually think as a minister of defense what will i be defending if in my capacity i have not actually played any football match as a, a defender but i am leading as a striker I have made it known to cabinet ministers that, listen, if we are going to run this country by proportional measure, then letting people know that if you are in a country where the basis of your defense is within the jurisdiction of 37, where there are bats mm -hmm. in the sky, which are actually supervising, you might not know there are bats in the sky. Are they, are they Ghana's drones? That, those that, are, that's your military Yes, drones. yes. That's our nuclear weapons that if in case anything is to happen, we will just transcend, send them back to our enemies and they would actually feel like can you say amen to that amen, amen. so people will actually get to know open your book your, your bible uh, to the book how is the minister minister for defense talking to me about the bible he said david said the chariot 
David, uh -huh. in the Bible said, the chariots and soldiers are ready. But if you, Lord, doesn't see us through, we will not move. Okay. okay. So we can have all the ammunition mm -hmm. and everything. But if we don't have God backing us, Obi, we will fail. How secured are we against a Russian attack? Obi, if, so far... If Russia decides to come at us... Obi, one, that's a strategic thing. That's why we have Danshuma and Russia. Okay. So they can't bomb Russia within <laughs> Russia. <laughs> You think you think you think Ghana we are stupid? That's why we have New York. Okay. They can't come and bomb New York when there is New York in Ghana. There is Lebanon. Lebanon, you can't come and bomb your own neighbor within your own neighborhood. No. You can't bomb Asama New York. You can't do that. So it is all Brecum Chelsea. You can't bomb. So these are all strategic measures that the country, the country has put in, put place. in place to see to that. All our borders will be and you see the are defense you part of ECOWAS? Uh, I'm part of the Akuoko family yeah but are you part of ECOWAS? we are part of ECOWAS. so do you do you realize the ultimatum you gave niger uh the man uh, the the no. is, is gone it, you is, it is tinubu <laughs> so now i have no idea tinubu about. went to one uh-huh the niger people like, uh -huh. if they don't leave power the soldiers don't, he will send troops from nigeria to go to, to go niger to, and the soldiers are like right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Omo, Omo. Talk for yourself <laughs> now. <laughs> you came to power within three months. You are trying to wage war on another country. So, Obi, as I come to quickly, let's move. No, but your, your, the time lapse you gave, um, you gave Niger to hand over. How many, has how many weeks did Nogopo give Adinasari? Uh, I think it was a week. A week. Uh, and and uh, how, how many? Two, two weeks. weeks. And and it's Ajinasari. Oh, it's like two months. It's two months. Yeah. So why can't if you can give spirituality issues of spirituality okay. more room for them to improve? All right. Why don't you give Ecowas? Do you know the distance from Ghana to Niger? Niger no. Probably network issues. They've not even received the message. Okay. So, as a matter of fact, and in my position as the defense minister, I want people to understand that Ghana borders are what See. secure. All right. Thank you so much, Honourable Niti, for confirming uh, that. Ghana borders are secure. Uh, thank you very much. It was good you joining us. Is that all? Yeah, that's it. That's it. All right, let's move on to our next story. Now, honorable. Uh -huh, okay, now you can go. You know you can go. Now go. No, you can go. I can't go. It's fine. Why? It's okay. I won't go to Niger. Why not? I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm going to Niger. <laughs> all right. 